So now today we are going to discuss the multi-threading concepts which is a very very important concept in the core Java and from the interview point of time also it is very important thing that is the multi-threading. Now whenever we are seeing the multi-threading in that two questions comes generally or generally if you are asking like the question number one is what do you mean by multi-thread or let us talk about what is what do you mean by the multitasking? Let us say I am talking here that is the multitasking. What do you mean by the multitasking? At any point of time, whenever we are talking like multi-threading or multitasking, so mainly I am talking about the multitasking. What is the meaning of multitasking is? Multitasking means a multiple tasks multiple tasks are being done at the same time multiple tasks or which means like more than one tasks are being done at the same time that is what we are calling it as an multitasking right so multiple tasks are being done at the same time that's what we are calling it as an multitasking okay so now here and one more thing like whenever we are uh, talking about multitasking multitasking. So, as I am saying like more than one tasks are being done at the same time that is what we are calling it as an multitasking well. But if generally when I used to ask some examples what do you mean by the multitasking and can you give some example of multitasking most of the times we have got some a uh, very general answers which has been given by most of the students or most of you guys. What is that? Like whenever we talk about the multitasking, can you give some example of multitasking? What is that? A favorite example or most of the time what people are saying like when we are typing anything in the word pad or document when we are typing anything, when we are doing like that or when we are playing any kind of music in that what happens like parallelly some music is also being played and at that time some video is also going on that is one example. Second one is let us say you are typing anything in the excel or word or in all. So, that time or parallelly itself it is checking spelling also, it is checking grammatical mistakes also and it is doing simultaneously many other tasks it is doing that is what the example of multitasking what they are giving right. One more important thing which I am discussing here first of all in general there is no nothing which is a multitask like at the same point of time it is being done or more than one tasks are being done nothing like that first why i am explaining i am explaining why people are saying that it is multitasking and all are like this i'll explain that why people are saying that it is a multitasking suppose suppose you are doing two tasks task 1 and again what is that now task 2 these two tasks are there when task 1 is starting at one point of time and after completing the task 1, task 2 is starting. So, what is here that there is some difference between the starting time of another task and ending time of another task, right? Which means that the both tasks processing is being done slowly so it is so as it means at the time user is able to understand the task 1 is being done first and then task 2 is being done so at the same time more than one tasks are not being done right but suppose for example your processing speed if the processing speed is very high if the processing speed is very high and in that processing speed or when this processing speed is very high, so you are not able to differentiate the completion time of task 1 and the ending time of task 2. So, in that cases, if you are not able to like compare what is the completion time and ending time of the task 1 and the task 2, in that case, if there will, you will not be able to differentiate like which one is being started first and which one is being started. So, at that time, generally what we consider that it is multi-threaded or you can say we will be saying it as an multitasking it is doing the multitasking right say for example 
when we are talking about the word pad and all other also. So, in that cases, in that cases what happens, what happens like suppose for example, when we are writing, so multitasking, so in word pad itself if you are writing one sentence, so first you are writing the sentence, what you are doing first, first you are writing the sentence. After writing the sentence, once your sentence is completed, then only it is checking the spelling mistakes or once your word is completed, then only it is checking. It is not like the when you are typing at the same time, which means what is happening there, once you have written the processing type or the processing speed of spelling checker as well as, what is that next one now, the processing speed of spelling checker and other things is so fast and since it is so fast. So, we are not able to understand what is the difference between like starting and the ending. So, what we are understanding that this all tasks are being done at the same time. That is what we are calling it as a multitask or multi threaded at the same time all the tasks are being done, right. So, above to that now, one more thing which I am explaining here. What is that I am explaining now? Next. So, this multitasking or you can say that is the Yes, you can say that is the multitasking itself. So, multitasking which is there is mainly on the basis of two things it is available, this multitasking. What all, on what all basis it is available? One is, one is this multitasking which is there, it is available on, so number one which we are writing is the, it is thread based, thread based multitasking and the second one which I am talking about is the process process based multitasking. So, this is thread based multitasking and the second one which I am writing is the process based multitasking. So, this is what exactly the multitasking. Now, what we are going to see is, what we are going to see is what is the difference between this thread based multitasking or you can say what is the difference between thread and process. So, we are going to look at the what is first process and parallelly what is that thread is. So, we are, we are going to look at this what is the thread as well as what is the process. What is that process? Process which is there could be implemented in one or a different languages in a one or a different programming languages, right. So, when it is being implemented in a one or different languages whereas, when the thread is there. So, thread is the part or you can say the unit of a process or a small part of a process, which means that the thread processing will be there or by combining the many threads, the processing of threads will be there in order to complete a process, which means that the threads will be processing as I told that process is an dependent processing unit whereas, the thread as an independent. So, for example, when a process, if a process is there, so what happens that? that process is being divided into multiple threads and all the threads will be working in order to complete the process, right. So, that is one process and one is the thread. Second point now, when we are talking about the process, when we are talking about the first is this, second one now, when I am talking about the process. So, process is what? Process is using like process cannot share the resources. What is that process cannot share the resources? Why? Because it may be implemented in one programming languages or it may be implemented in the different programming languages. I am talking about the process, right? So, when it is being implemented in the different different programming languages, in that cases it might run or it might not run, right? So, like that it starts the processing in that cases, right? Second where when the thread is there. So, thread uses the resource sharing mechanism, resource sharing mechanism, the thread which is there that is using the resource sharing mechanism. So, when I am talking about, let us say this is one process P1 is there, this is one process called as P2 is there, right. So, P1 as well as the P2 both processes are available, it is utilizing resource R1 and again it is utilizing resource R2 it is utilizing, right which means that the resource R1 and R2 which is there cannot be shared by any of the other processes. If the process P1 has allocated resource R1, so that resource only could be used by the process P1, whereas the resource R2 which is there that will be used by the process P2, so the resource R2 cannot be shared by other processes, right. At the same time, 
other things which we are discussing. Let us say this is one process. So, process I am talking about this process is the P1. Now, this process which is there is further divided into many parts. So, that is thread T1 is there, thread T2 is there, right. And here is the resource, which one now? R1 is there. So, this process is like process 1 under that thread T1 as well as the thread T2 is there, these two threads are. So, here these both threads are sharing the resource R1. Now, the sharing formula on what basis that all is going to share these resources is very important and that will be shared and that will be scheduled by your different types of algorithms, right. So, different algo is there on the basis of that algo this that will be decided like which thread when that they are going to use this resource, right. And immediately in that one point which is there that is very clear that once the one thread is processing is completed, once the thread processing is completed automatically the thread what will happen that thread will be really or you can say that thread will go to the dead state automatically it will be dead in that case, right. So, and one more thing like the in compared to the process thread execution process is bit fast, right. So, this is second difference between that. So, second difference I am concluding that what I am concluding second difference is the process which is there is using a resource a single resource which is using whereas, the thread which is there thread is sharing the resources and which gives the efficient result in that case which saves a lot of time which gives the other things in that cases. Is it okay now? Okay. Thank you. Now, in that again, when next I am going to write something, what is that I am going to write? So, about the third point which I am writing, what exactly is there in the case of third point? Third point is, in the case of process, in the case of process, context switching means, is you can say it is impossible, because in the case of process, once the one process is running, immediately it cannot switch to the other processes. Whereas, in the case of threads, the thread which is running immediately it can switch to the other threads also or other tasks also, right. That depends on the what kind of algorithm it is being used and how it is being processed. So, this is what the main basic difference between thread and process, okay. Now, in the case of thread as well as the processes or mainly in the case of multi threading. In order to manage these threads, in order to manage these processes, a complete API has been given by the Sun Microsystem. Initially, it was the Sun Microsystem, nowadays it becomes the Oracle. So, Sun Microsystem has given a complete API in order to manage these threads and even these threads, whenever we talk about the threads, so these threads will be managed by its own, you can say life cycle mechanism. There is a separate life cycle mechanism for these threads. On the basis of these life cycle mechanisms, these threads which is there will be managed and other processings will be done. So, in that Sun has provided a very large API, very large API in order to manage the, in order to manage this threads, in order to do the processing with this threads. So, what all API has been provided in order to manage the threads? We will see that what all API is there. The number one API is which one now? It is in Java dot Lang dot which one now? One is the thread it is. It is in class. This thread is in simple class we are writing. So, Java dot Lang dot thread number one is. The second one is the Java dot lang dot which one now thread group it is also one class right so one is thread second one is the thread group and the third important thing which we are writing is the java dot lang dot which one now runnable it is an interface so by using by using these corresponding APIs are the specified APIs, this thread life cycle will be managed and other things which is there will be done. Now, in case of Java, 
may generally in the case of java whenever we do anything whenever we write anything so automatically some threads will be created or automatically in internally itself everything which is there in the case of java is being managed on the basis of threads well when it is being managed on the basis of threads so inside this now something which we are uh, about to do or which we are going to uh, write it down inside this case so anything which is there that is being done on the basis of threads or internally it is being managed on the basis of threads well like whenever we do any program whenever we write any program so that is being processed or that is being done on the basis of threads itself so here what i am doing now let's say for example we will discuss today one very very important concept what is happening here suppose first what i'll do is i'm writing a simple program let's say class jtc i'm writing one class which i have written that is the jtc class as i have written in the class jtc i am writing here public static void of which one next now main method i am writing in the case of main method i am writing here the string of arg i am writing this one here can i write it okay we can write it here now in this main method the important thing which we are discussing here the important thing which we are getting here is suppose one very important thing which we know what is that important thing which we know that whenever we are writing any java program whenever we are writing any kind of java program so we must have to run the program by the dot class file name which contains the main method which means that wherever main method is there by the name of that dot class file itself that program has to be run so if suppose main method is available inside which class jtc class so i am running the program java and then what i am writing now jtc the question here is question here is how this main method is being called internally how this main method is being called it's a very very important questions very very important question the question is how this main method is being called internally so you can say the topic are here at in this label or in the multi threading things we are going to understand what is the exactly or how this exactly main method is being called internally right so whenever we uh, whenever we are discussing like main method how it is being called first of all we'll think one thing i'll tell you a simple reason and then after i'll explain you the correspondingly and the proper way how it is coming and what all other things are being done so let's say this is your main method is available right now this main method how we need to call this main method so this main method is first of all it is a static method what is that now this main method is the static method so if it is a static method so internally your jvm can do something what is that jvm can do something now jvm can call the jtc means by the name of class here is the jtc dot method now i'm going to call now main method i'm going to call and here is some string which is available here here what is there now string which is available so internally it will pass some string as an parameter in order to call it in order to process it right okay so this strings and other things which is there is being processed it is being called and then further processing which is there that is being uh, done in this case is here right 